we rise from the arrival of His Excellency, Mr. President. Before you, to inaugurate the Committee for the Implementation of Livestock Reform in our beloved country. First, I must say thank you very much. Who says the solution is far? I say no, the solution is here. If this is If these distinguished personalities, the name, the intellectual capacity, the fact that majority of this, mm. of, 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 of those of you, you have great experience and you want Nigeria to prosper. First and foremost, to provide impetus to enable Nigeria to finally take advantage of livestock farming, dairy product, cold chain logistics, collectively offer substantial commercial and economic advantages. We have seen solution and opportunity. With this adversity that uh, had plagued us over the years, and I believe the prosperity is here in your hands. The dairy industry contributes significantly to nutrition and food security by supplying essential proteins and vitamins through milk and its derivatives such as cheese, yogurt, butter, and economic advantages. Efficient cold chain logistics are crucial in maintaining the quality and safety of these perishable goods from farm to market, thereby reducing food waste and ensuring a steady supply. This sector will boost agricultural productivity, enhance export opportunities, and stimulate economic growth by fostering a robust value chain that benefits farmers, processors, herders, distributors, and consumers alike. Let me take advantage of the presence there. Thank the former executive governor of Kano State, and the chairman 
of all progressive party Abdullah Ganduje for assembling the best minds and experts to find solutions convening the National Conference on Livestock Reforms and Mitigation of Associated Conflicts in Nigeria in February last year. The far-reaching recommendations in their report informed our decision to constitute and inaugurate this presidential committee on the implementation of livestock reforms and seize a great opportunity to better the lives of our people rather than the conflict promoted agenda. It is our renewed hope, and I believe that hope is here. <laughs> Try to see a great opportunity for wealth, in a situation that is very confusing. I must mention here that I've discussed a number of occasions with the governors. The need to see this opportunity, seize it, play wrong with it. From here, are we at this junction? Are we ap appeal to remove every taint of partition politics from it. I assume the chairmanship of the committee as the president and appoint Professor Tyro Jaga as my deputy or co-chair and uh, as Dr. Gaduji, we say thank you, just remove yourself. So that any taint of politics in this environment will be erased completely. This is not about politics. This is about opportunity. This is about our nation. So, why I may be absent, Jaga will preside and continue to promote. <laughs> We've solved the problem. We've identified the model for livestock money. It is done in other countries, in other climes, successfully promoted. It created great economy and empowerment for ordinary people. Traditional livestock system must be reformed to add significant and sustainable value to Nigerian social economic growth and development. With all measures that is available to us, I don't want to turn this environment into another talk opportunity. I just want to list, inaugurate this committee. To ensure that I'm ready, I assure you, and the Nigerian public, that we need to create this economy, seize this opportunity. Be it ranches you recommend and promote, I will work with it. And uh, luckily, we have information and technology at present too. Had of 
cows can be identified with chips and be tracked these days. The modern technology is available to us. We are ready to work. As I said from the beginning, with you, all of you, the solution is here. And we must run with it. The governors are hereby represented. Well. Any law that might inhibit the promotion and the actualization of our objective, the Attorney General is here, please give it a priority. And uh, budget and economy planning is there. I find a budget head for it to grow. And finance is here as well to work hard for the money. <coughs> when you have great opportunity as this, why should Nigeria continue conflict? the caliber of people that is here. This presents a unique opportunity also to delineate and establish a separate ministry called the Ministry of Livestock Development. <laughs> we developed the Give people opportunity to excel. Our vet doctors. Can give us the necessary protection and opportunity to rear on breed, cross breeding and and stop the Wanton killing even animal feeds is a huge economy. Ladies and gentlemen, I hereby inaugurate the Renew Hope Livestock Reform Implementation Committee in Nigeria. <laughs> It is now in your hands. We are ready to work for the success of this program and the first success of the entire nation. So we will leave a Nigerian flag without stain to our children. Thank you very much. Committee, we for to you our congratulations for your re 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 election as chairman of ECOS. We wish you a successful tenure again. Your Excellency, on behalf of the distinguished and patriotic, patriotic members of the Presidential Implementation Committee, graciously to be inaugurated today by our dear President, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, GCFR, I have the hope the respectable honor on behalf of the members of the committee to express our deep appreciation to Mr. President for finding us fit to be part of this very historic presidential committee. Mr. President, we recall that on September 28, 2023, we submitted the report of the Livestock Reform Conference 
which was held between February 13 and 14, 2023, under the chairmanship of Professor Akta Hirojega. This project was initiated and sponsored by Kano State Government when I was the governor of Kano State. To be precise, this project was conceived in strong anticipation that Aswaju Bola Ahmed Tunubu would be the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And inshallah, he is the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria today. Therefore, we definitely cannot appreciate Mr. President enough for finding this as a very key source of social stability and economic prosperity in tandem with their renewed hope agenda. Mr. President, we are going to work assiduously and do everything humanly possible to bring out all the issues and fast track the implementation process and make it one of the distinctive success stories of your administration. This will undoubtedly be a game changer in contributions of livestock sector to the agricultural GDP that is currently abysmal despite our huge potentials. Mr. President, we shall advise on implementation strategies going by the well-established framework articulated in the reports and the blueprint before us. We shall be conscious of the documented experiences of other countries that have done very well in the livestock sector. We shall from time to time consult with the relevant ministries, departments, and agencies of government that will support this cause. We like to appreciate you for also appointing the Minister of Agriculture and Food Security, Senator Abubakar Kari, to serve as co-chair and to acknowledge his wonderful support as a good host to this important committee. We like to assure Mr. President that we shall surpass your expectations and bring succor to Nigerians at the end of the assignment. Once again, we thank Mr. President for this rare privilege to serve our country and make the difference we all aspire to achieve. Thank you and God bless. Your Excellency, the Chief of Staff to the President, Right Honorable Danny, distinguished members of the Presidential Committee, distinguished ladies and gentlemen,
Thank you very much.